All right, so we're going to do the calculator steps uh, for H8D. Okay, so you have this handout we got in class. It should be attached to the back of this handout. So first I need to store uh, Z1 and Z2. Okay, we're going to call this, um, uh, this is going to be our, we're going to store this as A, and we're going to store this one here as B. Okay, A and B. So this is Z1 and this is Z2. Okay, so let's follow these steps here. Okay, so um, so I'm going to type in 2, 2, then plus 3i, so I'm going to type in 3, oops, plus 3, and to get the i, um, I'm going to have to press the second button, and then the period, the period's down here. Okay, there's my i. And now I need to store this as the variable A. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit the stow. That's just above the on button right here. I'm going to hit the stow. And then I'm going to hit alpha. And now it's saying, what letter are we going to put this in? And we, we want to put the letter A. So see under math in green, it says A. I'm going to put, push the math button, and now it says A. And now I'm going to press Enter. And so now whenever I do value of A, that this means the value of A. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to get our, our um, uh, expression B. So we're going to have 3 minus I. Once again, I'm going to press second, period, and there's my I. And now I'm going to hit stow. So once again, above the, the on button, stow alpha, and I want the letter B. So the B, notice in green, it's it's B right there. So uh, apps button gives me B. And now I hit enter. And so this is the value of expression B. Okay. So now, so we know that Z1 is A and Z2 is B. So to calculate 2Z1 plus 3Z2, I'm going to type in 2A plus 3B. So to do that, I'm going to type in 2A. So to get A, I'm going to do alpha math, and that gets me my A. And then plus 3B, so alpha there, and that gets me my B. And then I hit enter, dun, 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 and that combines. Um, so what I've done is it has multiplied 2 times this value, which gives me 4, and 3 times this value, which gives me 9, and 4 plus 9 is going to give me the 13. So it does all the arithmetic for us. Now, this is not such a big deal with something like this or something like this, but when I got something crazy like this denominator here, then it's much easier. So here we've got calculate Z1 times Z2. So basically I'm going to do alpha math, which gives me expression A times alpha this to get me expression B. And I hit enter. And it tells me that we get this. So let's just do this by hand just for fun. I've got um, A is 2 plus 3i times b is 3 minus i. So if I'm going to do this by hand, I end up with 2 times 3, which is 6, 2 times negative i, which is negative 2i, 3 times 3i, which gives me 9, and 3i times negative i, which is going to give me negative 3i squared. And so now I can combine the like terms. Um, Something's wrong here. Okay. 3i times 3. Okay. All right. Whew. Glad I fixed that before making a mistake. Okay. So now I've got this is 6, and this is minus 3i squared. So we know i is i squared is negative 1. So 
negative 3 times negative 1, that's going to be positive 3. So I've got 6 minus 2i plus 3i plus 3. So now I can combine my like terms, and I end up with uh, 6 plus 3, which is 9. And negative 2i plus 3i is plus i. And is that the answer that we got? The th oh. What happened here? Nine plus seven i. Oh, duh, duh, duh. Nine. I, why did I write three i? That's crazy. Okay, so I've got negative two i plus nine i is going to give me seven i. Okay. All right, and now. This one here is crazy looking, right? So z1 plus z2 divided by z1 minus z2. So let's type that in. So um, parentheses. Oh my gosh, if you don't put parentheses around here, then um, you're going to make a big mistake. So make sure you put your parentheses. So parentheses a plus b, close parentheses, divided by alpha math a, oh, oh, oh parentheses, yikes, uh, alpha math a minus alpha apps b, close parentheses, and you end up, oh my gosh, so if you're going to write this in three significant figures, you can write this as 0.76 minus 0.129i. Okay? All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, was there one? Oh, if you want to see your answer as a fraction. Okay, let's... Okay, so to view this as a fraction, you're going to press um, math, and I'm going to arrow over to CPX, and then um, I'm going to scroll down to where it says, um, real? Real. Okay, and then I have to do second negative one to get answer, and then enter. And here is the real part. Okay. Um, to repeat the calculations by pressing up. Okay. Well, that's the same thing. Okay, I guess i got to retype this. Okay, well, I'll do this quick. Okay, so what was the equation? Um, there we go. A plus B divided by A minus B. All right, that was what we had. And then I hit Enter. So at this point, if I want to see this as a fraction, because it doesn't have to look like the ugly decimal, I can press um, um, alpha F1 Second answer. Okay, so this takes that answer. So second ANS takes this answer, and now I'm going to press alpha F1.
second. Answer. Oh, okay, let's try this again. Math. Error over to CPX and go down to three. And press second answer. And then press alpha F one. Okay, this works with the newer calculator and not with this calculator. So if you've got the yellow calculators, you can get it to do this fraction thing. This is an older calculator and won't do that. So anyways, I hope that helps and have fun.